for your son Jesus on the blood whom which we are covered. We thank you, Father, for the precious Holy Ghost is our comforter and keeper in the mighty name of Jesus. And we just lift up your name, O oh God. We just ask, O oh Father, that truly let your spirit fall in this place this morning. Hallelujah. Let everything that has breath praise him. Let everything that has breath worship him. Hallelujah. We worship him in song, worship him in just a clapping and elevation of our hands in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as we assemble into this house today, we ask, oh God, that truly healing and deliverance be released into this place this morning. Hallelujah. We ask, oh Father, that you would pour your grace out upon your people and upon our leader, our shepherd, apostle, Sharain Lathan this morning, Father. Strengthen her from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Hallelujah. Father, truly bind us together as the true body of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. For you said in your word, where two or three are gathered in your name, there you would be in our midst. And we just give you praise, honor, and glory this morning. We ask our Father, we yield our will to your will. Let your will be done this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your spirit flow in this place this morning, Father. We ask your blessings, oh God, that the mouth of the speaker this morning, oh Father, no, no, that I'll be able to speak in proper time in your name. True in the mighty word, release a word unto your people, oh God. Those that are sick and shut in this morning, we ask, oh God, truly that you touch them. And you bless them in a special way. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory on this morning. Oh, yes, Lord. For you said in your word, if these hold their peace, the very rocks will cry out, glory and honor. There ain't no rock gonna cry in my place. Hallelujah. Said everything that has breath this morning, praise the Lord. You ought to be able to say something this morning. If God led you to this day and brought you through the week, you ought to be able to say, hallelujah, praise the Lord. You ought to be able to give him some praise. You ought to be able to say thank you this morning. Oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Now, oh, God, we release hallelujah Shanda. Oh, have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. Bless his holy and his righteous name, hallelujah. Amen and amen. Right. Somebody shout the name of Jesus. Somebody shout the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hey! Ooh. For we know when we call on the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Somebody, somebody, somebody shout! Here we go.
Oh, we bless your name, Jesus. Oh, come on and lift your hands. Lift your hands, lift your voice. Come on and bless him in this place.
to worship him, worship him, worship him. Lift up those hands and worship the Lord all over this. Come on and worship Him. Say your love, your love. 
worship him. Come on, love him back and worship him. His love never runs out for us. Ah, and don't allow your situations to steal your worship. Don't let it run out for him. Ah, because his love will never run out for us. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. Come on and let's bless God in this place today. Let's move together. As we sing our fellowship song. Because where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the spirit the Lord is, there is liberty. The anointing of the Lord, yeah, yeah, is here. Set the captives free for all. For all your need, just trust him. Just trust him and believe. If it's healing, if it's healing you need, hey, deliverance you need, hey, deliverance you need. Yeah. Come on and receive it by faith. It's in the house. praise in this place today hey as we thank him for another day that we could come and fellowship in the house of the lord sanctuary and we are praising the Lord all over social media. Praise the Lord. We're giving God all of his glory, his honor, and we're just so thankful to be back in his house one more time. And we are so thankful for the presence of the Lord in this place. Hallelujah. We're giving him all of his glory and all of his honor. Praise God. And at this time, we'd just like to welcome our visitors, visitors in the house Visitors all over social media, members, wherever you are, friends, wherever you are, we thank God for you. We give God glory and we honor you. Thank you for visiting us today. We encourage you and we welcome you to visit us as often as you can. Praise the Lord. All right. Uh, Liberty, we are excited. We all, Liberty is always excited. Praise God. We are always excited. And we have every right to be excited about God and his goodness. God and his glory. Praise God. If we are not excited, who? Then who? Praise God. All right. We just want to 
remember our pastor, Apostle Dr. Shireen Lathan. Want you to know that she is encouraged. Praise God. She's encouraged. She's thanking God for us, and we are thanking God for her. Praise the Lord. All right. All right. We just want to be reminded of holy convocation. I mean, we talk about it all year, and now it's where? Right up on us. Holy Convocation will begin August 12th and will extend through August 15th. Um, Holy Convocation, it says, built by fire. Fire, fire of the Holy Ghost. Uh, Jeremiah 23, 29 says, not my word like a fire, saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. So we really want to continue with our prayer. We are fasting, we're praying, we're trusting God that this is going to be a great celebration. It's going to be a wonderful co convocation, praise God. And we want to, we want to, what do we want to do? We want to agree with God. We agree with God. He's going to make sure that we are okay, that we'll get here. There was purpose in our hearts first, is that right? As we purpose in our hearts, he'll do the rest. Praise God. All right. At this time, Liberty, we are standing all over the sanctuary. We are standing. And it's with, and it's with honor that we are going to present to you the word of life that's coming to us through Prophetess Kaimar Garner. Kaimar Garner. Praise God. Come on, somebody give God praise in this place. Come on, you're clapping. I want you to open up your mouth and bless him. Come on, lift up a sound of praise. Come on, I heard the praise and worship going forth, and I said, oh, I feel stirring. I feel a Your great name, huh? the greatest name, huh? the name that never changes, huh? the name that is the same huh? today, yesterday, hey, and forevermore. Somebody glorify him. Yes, Lord. Oh, Jesus, oh, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I feel a stirring in this atmosphere. Come on, I'm getting into my message, but I came to prophesy a word to this house. The word of the Lord is new. New. I need somebody to lift your hands, open up your mouth, and begin to thank him. Come on, how do you receive the word of the Lord? You say, God, I agree with you. God, I thank you. I'm in agreement with the word of the Lord. And the word of the Lord for you today is new. New says the spirit of the most high God. New, new second time. Yet can never so new strength, new power, new some of you are are getting ready to get new homes, new cars, you're getting ready to walk into new doors, new opportunities, new says the spirit of the Lord. Shout, Shout for the new. It's yours, it's yours. It's yours. It's yours. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Anybody excited about what God is doing in this now time? 
Let me get this out of the way because I don't want to forget. I honor the Lord. He is the head of my life. To my husband, Troy Garner, he couldn't be with me tonight. I honor Archbishop William Hudson III and Pastor Andrea Hudson, the powerhouse Chicago. I do honor your apostle. Cup your hands for Apostle Shireen Lathan. Thank you so much for the honor and the opportunity to share on your platform. Now, I've been here before. I don't know if you remember me. I was just here maybe a month or so ago. And so you already know that I'm a psalmist. I'm here to preach, but at any time, I will drift off into the song of the Lord. All right? I just want you all to follow me to my brother, Prophet Fred Ward. Pastor Fred Ward, I do honor you. To everybody in this house, I honor you. Clap your hands for yourself. Come on, clap your hands. You made it. You made it. You didn't just make it to this house, but I need somebody to thank him because you made it. Through a pandemic, you made it. Come on, through the storm, you made it. It got a bit windy, but you made it. You felt turbulence, but you made it. Come on, you made it through the war. I know some of you all are coming out of a season. I want you to give them praise because you made it. Well, the enemy didn't think that you would. The enemy didn't think that you would. As a matter of fact, he was on assignment to kill you. He was on assignment to kill your purpose. He was on assignment to kill your children. He was on assignment to take you down. Oh, but you made it. I need somebody to thank him. I said you made it. I said you made it. God calls you winner. God calls you victorious. God calls you a champion. Open up your mouth and say, I made it. And if some of you all are in the middle of a thing, if some of you all, I know you are, in the middle of a storm, I dare you to declare it in advance and say, oh, I made it. I'm going to get through this. I'm going to journey through this. I'm going to make it through this. Why? Because God is with me. God is pushing me. God is shielding me. I cannot be stopped. I cannot drown in this. I will not die in this. God says I'm a winner. Declare it. Come on. Declare it. Come on. Come on. You're going to make it. You're going to make it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Pull out your Bibles, your iPads. Don't do that, prophet. Your iPads, your electronic devices. We're going to the Word of God. Isaiah, the 43rd chapter, the 18th through the 19th verse. Now be reading from the King James Version, Isaiah 43, two verses, the 18th and the 19th verse. I do honor my assistant. She's with me today, Pastor Ratnisha. Can you clap your hands for her? Thank you so much for serving with me, for being with me. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We're going to Isaiah, the 43rd chapter, the 18th through the 19th verse. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right before we go there, I believe in affirmations and declarations. The Lord has given me something to declare. And everywhere I go, I have the people to declare it as well. And I want you to repeat after me. Say, I was created on purpose. Yes, say, I was created for purpose. Yes, say, I am called by God to be his kingdom advancer. Yes, I want you to say this. Say, I am approved by God. Yes, yes. Come on, let's say this with power. I am qualified by God. Oh, yes. Say, God chose me to be effective in the earth. And I want you to agree with this thing. Agree with this thing. Say, and I will carry out my assignment successfully for his glory. If I have any kingdom advancers that are in agreement with this word, I want you to lift up a sound right now. Come on, where are my kingdom advancers at? Come on, you know that you were created for the purpose of God. 
You are here on purpose. You are not an accident. What God has placed on the inside of you, you shall deliver. Come on. This is your time to walk into purpose, to walk into destiny. And I need you to understand that with God, you will be successful in all that God has set before you to do. Isaiah 43, 18 through 19. The King James Version and the word of the Lord reads, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Verse 19 says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Somebody say new thing. Now, somebody shout now. It shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. And the word of the Lord is blessed. You can have your seat if you can. God is doing a new thing now. God is doing a new thing now. A new thing now. A new thing now. Musicians, stay close to me. A new thing now. Now, because you are in this room today, physically present or by way of online streaming, I came to prophesy to you that you are now stepping into a new journey. You're entering into a new moment in your life. I need you to play, pay very close attention because at any time uh, there is a prophetic release uh, that is coming your way, okay? Uh, God is breaking you out of the old uh, and thrusting you into his new for your life. Not, not your new, but God's new for your life and your agreement with God's now new somebody say now new God's your agreement with God's now new is catapulting you ahead of time is it's launching you ahead of the time ahead 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 you will increase and advance in the wisdom and knowledge of God I need somebody to lift your hands and receive that as God launches you ahead you will increase in the wisdom and the knowledge of God I came to prophesy to someone here that what is statistically proven to take a lifetime for one to perceive you will possess now I need somebody to grab it come on you will possess it you're gonna possess it now you are called to be a part of a remnant that possesses and will rightly steward hear me God's mysteries revealed you will be you will be able to hold God's brilliance revealed I hear I'm telling you that God is launching you ahead of the time every curse that have limited your advancement are being destroyed now in the name of Jesus every curse that has limited your mobility that has limited your advancement is gone God is being destroyed now in the name of Jesus the new isn't just for a season people of God the Lord told me to tell you that the new he's bringing you into is for the rest of your life. Yeah, come on. Somebody caught on to that. Yeah. Things that never get old again. Things that never grow stale again. Hey, shut the back. So, yeah, you'll never experience another drought. Why? Because God is bringing you into endless depths of his new for your life. You're coming into endless depths of God's new and it starts now. Somebody shout now. Now, 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 new identity. You will see yourself through God's eyes. You will see yourself as God sees you. You will be exactly what God has created you to be. Your identity is not based on society, but your identity will be found in Christ. And you will see and you will know. I'm prophesying. I decree and declare over your life new focus God is centering your focus in this hour I prophesy over you new discoveries yes Lord yes Lord new discoveries you will find and you will be found you will be able to locate and what is assigned to you 
uh, will locate you uh, in the name of Jesus, a prophet. Uh, can you give me some strings? Yes, God. Uh, I prophesy over your life. Uh, new experiences uh, and new places. Uh, new experiences uh, and new places uh, that will cause you to expand. Uh, that will broaden your horizons uh, without ceasing. Um, if you are a recipient uh, of the word of God, I need you to stand to your feet. Uh, oh, I prophesy. Yes, Lord. Uh, new direction. Uh, new direction. Yeah. New direction uh, that will lead you uh, to your promised land uh, new direction uh, that will lead you uh, to your promised territory uh, new direction uh, that will lead you uh, to your promised doors uh, Oh, new direction uh, is coming to you uh, that will lead you uh, to promise words uh, and such uh, that it's specifically for you uh, I prophesy new promotions lift your hands and receive it new promotions uh, you will be seated uh, in higher places uh, no longer uh, will you be comfortable uh, in low places uh, but God come on he's bringing you uh, he's bringing you uh, into high seats uh, where you will rule righteously uh, you know, where you will rule in the authority of God uh, new promotions uh, and new high places uh, I prophesy new formula New formula, fresh methods, and fresh strategies that will cause you to achieve in this hour. You're going to achieve new goals. You're going to achieve new dreams. You're going to achieve new solutions, new formulas for your life. And I prophesy new collaborations. New collaborations where God will literally ordain your steps and bring you in link and in connection with those that are assigned to walk with you. Those that are assigned to your purpose with you. Those that are assigned to undergird you and lift you up. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Somebody lift your voice and shout, yeah. New identity, new focus, new discoveries, new experiences, new places, new direction, new promotions and positions, new formula, and new collaborations. Says the Spirit of the Most High God, if you receive it, say, yes, Lord, I receive. Go ahead, have your seat. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hey, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, we agree with your word. We agree with your word. We agree with your word. God is doing a new thing for the nation of Israel. But he first speaks to something that has the power to hinder his people from getting to the new. His people have been in bondage. They are in exile in this moment in history. And the Lord speaks to them. But he first says something that has the power to hinder them from getting to the new. In verse 18, God directly speaks to their remembrance. He speaks to their mind. He speaks to their memory. And he commands them to remember not the things of old. Remember not the things of old. People of God, your memory or recollection of things are a powerful part of your human functionality. From the very moment you were birthed into this world, your brain has been flooded with information about yourself and the world around you. Hallelujah. There are three major processes involved in memory. Just can I teach for just a moment? Three major processes 
involved in memory. And for those that are taking notes, number one, it's encoding. Encoding, E-N-C-O-D-I-N-G. Number two, it's storage. And number three is retrieval. Encoding is the initial learning of information. Storage is the maintaining of the information. And retrieval refers to the ability to access the information. So through life, consciously and unconsciously, we are constantly encoding, storing, and retrieving. While your memory is needed as we do rely on it, for essentially everything, your memory can work against you. Bad memories and good memories can work against you. It can work against God's plan for your life. It can work against your movement. It can work against your advancement. Let me tell you why. Memory engagement that rehearses yesterday's failures can cause you to undervalue your present and belittle your future. It's your memory at work against you. Memory engagement that rehearses yesterday's success can cause you to deprive yourself of your greater in your present and in your future. And what happens is you marry yourself to the last good thing in case that is the best thing that ever happens to you. It's your memory working against you. The word of the Lord says, remember ye not the former things. Remember ye not the former things. Positive and or negative recollection that enslaves you and locks you out of God's promise for your life. Remember ye not the former things. And if you're not careful, people of God, if you're not careful, you'll find yourself reliving yesterday. See, see the, the word of the Lord, this is a, it's a command. It's just not, it's not words. It's not something that you can just kind of like slide over. Remember ye not the former things is a charge. It is a command. You have to do this in order to move into the new that God is speaking through me for your life. You cannot just slide by that. You got to literally agree with the command of the Lord. Obey and heed the word of the Lord because the enemy will use your memory to disrupt your pursuit of God's new for your life. And it is the enemy's assignment to cause you to relive your memories relive the past and relive your yesterday through your memory the enemy keeps serving you yesterday's success yesterday's success and yesterday's failure and for some of you in this place you think that you're expecting the new but you're really expecting the old repackaged And God is coming for your mind on today because he wants to break the tie with the old thing. He wants to break the tie with the old memory. He wants to He wants to break the old cord so that you can move forward in God. He wants you to get to the new. I need somebody to turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, God wants you to get to the new. He wants you to get to the new. The enemy doesn't want you to get to the new, but God wants you to get to the new. And I don't know who you are that thinks you're expecting the new and you're really expecting the old repackaged, but, but God is coming for you on today. This is why the old repackaged keeps showing up at your door. It's the same distraction, just with a different face. It's the same distraction. It just has a different name. For some of you, you are the old thing. And God is trying to get you ready 
ready for the new that's getting ready to come your way. God wants you to move forward. Purpose is calling you, but memories of yesterday are holding you hostage. The future is calling you, but memories of your past have you imprisoned. Oh, and right now in the name of Jesus, somebody lift your hands in this place. I destroy the life of memories that are assigned to kill you. The blood of Jesus over your mind. The blood of Jesus infiltrate your mind now. I come against destructive thought patterns with the blood of Jesus. I break you out of contracts with secret memories that plague your tomorrow. Through the power of Jesus Christ, I eradicate every mental roadblock. No longer will you succumb to the things of yesterday. No longer will you consider the things of old. No longer will you contemplate or negotiate or reason with your past. But I align you. I align you with you with 2 Timothy 1 and 7. And I declare over your life that fear loses the grip of your mind. Fear has to go. Anxiety has to go. Worry and doubt has to go. I decree and declare over you that you will have a sound mind, power in your mind, love in your mind, strength in your mind, a sound mind. In the name of Jesus, I uproot you out of exile in your mind. Some of you, your words created an exile. Your words created bondage. Your words created slavery. But I break every word curse that has been spoken over you or out of your mouth in the name of Jesus. And I decree and declare out with the old and in comes the new. Somebody say in comes the new. Come on, in comes the new. In comes, come on. In comes the new. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Let me press there for a moment. In comes the new. In comes the new. Like a mighty rushing wind. In comes the new. Do me a favor and take a, a few steps forward. Hey, come on. You're stepping out of familiar places. You're stepping out of comfortable places. Into the new, says the spirit of the most high God. Yeah. Now lift your hands and give them glory. Come on, glory, glory, glory. Come on, your feet did the moving. Now I need you to move in your heart. And I need you to move in your mind. Because some of you think that you've been moving physically, but your heart is still in the past. I break you out and I cause your mind and your heart to match the movement. Woo, somebody needs to run. Hey, Shaq, come on, run into the new. Run, 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 run. Run into the new. That's it, that's it, that's it. Run. Run into the new. Run into the new. Run into the new. Run. Hey, hey. She and the basoka. Out of cycles. Out of exile. Run to the new the man with the black on you're running into a season of victory victory after victory Vic yep, he's jumping leap into it huh? victory after victory there's wealthy doors huh, that you're moving into uh, yes somebody lift a sound Enough is enough. I'm tired of the enemy. I'm tired of the devil. He can't have my children. He can't have my house. He can't have my future. He can't have me. Somebody pray. I tell you to 
Open up your mouth and say enough is enough, devil. You're coming out. You're coming out. What a thing is that? Yeah, hey, hey, girl. You're coming out. I came to prophesy over your life. Yeah, you're coming out. I decree and I declare it. You're coming out. Out of the chains, out of the box, out of the graves, out of the cage. You're coming out. Repeat after me. You're coming up. Yeah, we got to press into this thing. You're coming up. Yeah. You're coming up. Yeah. We prophesy it. You're coming up. Coming up. You're coming up. You're coming up. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Out of the chains. Out of the cage. Out of the grave. Out of the old. Out of the familiar. Out of the comfort. You're coming out. Everybody pray. Come on, give God a victory dance. Hey. You're coming out. Yes, you are coming out, coming out, out of cycles, coming out, out of robots, coming out, yes, coming out, yes, you're coming out. The devil thought that you'll be lost, but ha, you're coming out. Lift up your praise! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, agree with God's word for your life. And I feed and I declare I've got victory. Praise will crush Satan under my feet. And I declare, y'all know this, I've got a victory. Yeah, 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 there it goes. I want you to press into it with a dance. Listen, is the words. My dance will crush Satan under my feet. Yeah. And I declare, I've got victory. Everybody dance, my dance will crush Satan under my feet. And I declare, I've got victory. I've got victory. My dance will crush under my feet. And I declare, I've got victory. I've got victory. My dance, my will crush, will crush Satan under. Declare, declare, I got victory. Everybody dance. Come on, crush them under your feet. Crush. 
crush them under your feet. Crush every cart under your feet. Oh. Somebody shout! Have your seat if you can. Out with the old. In comes the new. Just stay close. I told you I'm a saying. Out goes the old. In comes the new. Yes, Lord. I hear you, Holy Ghost. Lift your hands. I want you to say it out of your mouth. Out goes the old. In comes the new. Like a mighty rushing wind. In comes my new. Yeah, like a mighty rushing wind. In comes my new. This is what God is saying in, to his people in the text. Our scripture text is a prophetic announcement. Through his prophet, God delivers a message of hope and restoration to the Israelites who were in exile. We know this. God plans to deliver them out of Babylon just as he had delivered their forefathers out of Egypt. However, this new exodus would not mirror the exodus out of Egypt. God would do something greater and something new. What was astonish to, astonishing to you in the past, God is getting ready to surpass that. What was amazing to you in the past, you, it was almost like it was too good to be true. And some of you have wrestled with the thought that uh, I, don't, I don't know if anything can trump that. But I came to prophesy to you that God is getting ready to surpass the greatest thing that he's ever done for you. Yep, that's right. Receive it with a yes. Come on. Receive it. Receive it. The greatest thing that you've experienced on this journey, God's getting ready to surpass that. Oh, she's getting ready to astonish you in this life. Yes, Lord. New, new is defined as not existing before. Introduced and unfamiliar. I said it before, but I really want you to understand that God wants to break you out of that thing that thinks that the old, that the new is going to look like the old. It's not going to look like the old. Verse 19 says, behold, I will do a new thing. This is a promise. The Lord first gave a command in verse 18, and then he follows it up with this promise. Behold, I will do a new thing. Behold, the word behold means to see to look to and if you're following along with the word you see that God first he dealt with the minds of his people now he's going to deal with your sight so he's breaking strongholds in your mind but now he's giving you new vision now he's going to he's going to deal with how you see things now, this scene deals with a future view. It is the opposite of looking back. You have to look ahead in order to stay in pace with God. You have to look ahead in order to stay in faith with God. Your eyes have to remain forward in order to stay in agreement with God. Now you understand why God needed to break your times with the old thing because you cannot look forward and backwards at the same time. You got to choose. Either you're going to look forward or you're going to look backwards. 
You can't look at the both. Can't look at both at the same time. And he needs your extreme focus and attention to the new thing. Why? Because the new thing, hear me, people of God, the new thing is connected to a journey. This prophetic word of the Israelites was an announcement of hope for mankind through the coming of Jesus Christ and at the same time preparing them to faith journey out of bondage into the new that God had for them. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, get ready to journey. Neighbor, get ready to journey. Neighbor, come on, neighbor, get ready to move. God is getting ready to put you on a journey. Oh, you thought that he was just going to drop you into the new? Uh Uh-uh. You got a journey to this thing. There's some things that God has to do on the inside of you there's some things uh, that God has to change uh, on the inside of you uh, and as you walk through the wilderness uh, God is going to uh, transform you Uh, as you walk through the waters uh, God is going to deal with some things uh, that is attached to you that needs to fall off get ready to journey The scripture says, I will make a way for you in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. If you go up a few scriptures, the Bible says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. Through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. And when you walk through the fire, you will not get burned. What is he telling you? You got to go through the journey. But if you hold on to God's promise for your life, if you hold on to the new that he's spoken over you, if you hold on to God's unchanging hand, even though you're walking through unfamiliar zones, even though you're walking through the wilderness and desert, God is with you and he will not allow you to get swallowed up. And not make it through. But the Father says, with me, you will journey. I will transform you. And you will make it to my new for you. Not your new. Take your limited understanding of the God's next for your life. And I want you to lead into God's new for your life. It's better than before. Somebody shout, next is better. Yep. Next is greater. Hey. Next is more promise, prosperous. Next looks better. Who am I talking to? Your next is greater. It's greater. I'm done. Stand to your feet. Mm. You're getting ready to journey to the new. And while you're journeying, journeying, God is literally making you new. He has to make you new for the new so that you can steward the new well. If some of you all got the new now, you will squander it. If some of you all got the promise now, you wouldn't know how to hold it. But God is literally transforming you on the journey. Come on, he dealt with your mind. Now he's dealing with your sight. New vision I prophesy over you. New eyes. I decree and declare that scales will fall off your eyes right now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare the clarity of God over you. What is confusing to you or what is frustrating to you, you will begin to come into an understanding of what God, God has for you in this now time. And you will move forward with new vision. You will move forward with new sight in the name of Jesus. I'm getting ready to see something I've never seen. Lift your hands. You're getting ready to see again something you've never seen. Lift your hands. Yeah. I said, you're getting ready to be. Yes, Lord. All that God.
God has called you to be. I decree it over your life. Hey, you're getting ready to be. All that God has called you to be. Lift your hands and receive the word. You're getting ready to do. Something new, something new. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hey, you're getting ready to do. Something new, something new. I need somebody to catch this word. Hey, you're getting ready to hold. You're going to possess it. You're going to own it. Hey, something new, something new. You're going to be able to touch it. Hey, you're getting ready to hold you. you yeah. Hey, yes, God. Something new, something new. Yes, Lord. Hey, you're getting ready to see. Yes, God, something you never seen. I prophesy it in the name of Jesus, liberty. You're getting ready to see. Yet to never say, something you've never seen. I prophesy it for your homes. Oh, you're getting ready to see in your homes, in your workplaces. Yes, God, something you've never seen. You're getting ready. Hey, you're getting ready. Hey, you're getting ready. Hey, you're getting ready. You're getting ready. Oh, you're getting ready. Yeah, oh, you're getting ready. Yeah, you're, oh, you're getting ready to see it. You're getting ready to touch it. You're getting ready to possess it. You're getting ready to possess it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're getting ready to see something you've never seen. Eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard. Eyes haven't seen, yes, and ears haven't heard. Haven't seen and years haven't heard. Yep, say that. Eyes haven't eyes haven't seen and years haven't heard. Ears haven't heard. Whoa, eyes haven't seen. Eyes haven't seen and years haven't heard. Ears haven't heard. What's getting ready to happen? Oh, years haven't heard. God's about to blow your mind. God's about to blow your mind. Eyes haven't seen. I hear the Lord say now, 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 your past, the get ready part. I hear the Lord say now, 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 yes, yours, now, oh, yeah, 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 now. Lift your hands. I want your worship to arise right here in this moment. Come on as you're worshiping, come on. More and more you're agreeing with the new. Out with the old and in with the new. Out with the old, in with the new. My soul says yes to the new. My soul says yes to the new. Soul says yes to the new. My soul says yes to the new. Anybody got a yes in your spirit? Spirit say yes. Woman of God, right here with the white mask on. I think that's a tan skirt. Yes, could you stand to your feet? Yes, Lord. Yes, God, the Father literally is lifting you in this hour. I hear the Lord saying, beyond ground level, beyond ground level, you've become comfortable surviving 
in the capacity of just walking it now, walking it out. But I hear the Lord saying that he's lifting you up off the ground. Yes, Lord. And for this hour and beyond, you will soar it out. Yes, Lord. You will soar it out. For this is the season where you will fly high above. For the Lord is breaking you out of the mindset of just surviving a thing. And he's bringing you into a new place where you will experience the true happiness of God. Where you will experience and you will see and know spiritual truths and spiritual realities. And I see you asking and desiring God of something. And th there's a miracle that's getting ready to take place in your life. Within the next 90 days, a miracle. And I prophesy even over your legs, strength to your legs. Hey, I command your blood to flow regularly in your body. Healing, healing, healing. And I come against every place. I literally see the enemy assigning places where you will swell in your body. When the Spirit of the Lord comes to break the hand of the enemy off of your life, He comes to destroy the scheme of the wicked one. Woman of God, I declare that you are healed in your mind, in your heart, and in your body. I prophesy over your life that you will grow healthy and you will grow strong. I prophesy over your life that you will be likened unto the cedars in Lebanon, where you will begin to endure, endure the times where it feels like you cannot make it through but God is calling you I need you to begin to walk this way God is calling you to journey you're not going to walk but you're going to fly in this journey to the mountain top you go to the mountain top you go to the mountain top you go I prophesy now in the name of Jesus that you will not die you shall live in the name of Jesus I need my towel the assignment of the enemy to kill you and I even see you tormented with death mm. but woman of God I command the breath of God to breathe upon you now take a deep breath Lord out yep receive that new breath that new breath Come on, breathe in. Come on. You're breathing out the, Lord, the old and the Lord is breathing into you. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus uh, that you will begin uh, to live. Uh, you just will not exist in the earth, uh, but you shall live in the name of Jesus uh, out of survival mode uh, and into God's new for your life. Uh, lift your hands. Uh, you shall live uh, and not die. Uh, I prophesy to your bones uh, and I say live. Uh, I press it to your belly. Uh, fire in the name of Jesus where you will begin to break fear off of your own life in the name of Jesus and you are healed in Jesus name woman of God right here you're on the third row yep lift your hands you don't have to come yes God Yes, Lord, for the Lord is causing you to move into days of creativity and strong days of discovery. And I see you in a whirlwind of uncertainty of things, unsure about some things. But the word that I spoke just a few minutes ago, the clarity is hitting your life. Hear me, God is getting ready to stir up your mind. And God is literally going to place thoughts in your mind. Do not forsake it. Because I can even see you being in a place where you're like, God, is this really you? Are you really speaking? It's the Lord. And there's a prophetic anointing that rests on your life. And you're getting ready. God is getting ready to do something so magnificent with your language in this season. 
Yes, Lord, he's changing your language. And you're getting ready to begin to speak things that are not as though they were for real. There is a strong authority in the faith of God that I literally see you standing up in. And this faith and this language is literally getting ready to cause you to literally surpass levels that you would have never thought that you would even get to. There are things in your bloodline, it almost is like it limits people to a certain place. It says only you go, you're only going to get to this certain place. But God is getting ready to cause you to break out of those restrictions and break out of those limitations. And you're going to be one that will be marked, that went further, even in your bloodline. In the name of Jesus, and I prophesy that generations to come, yes, Lord, generations to come will hear your voice. Because I see the Lord stirring up something even with your hands. And I don't know if you write right now, but you're getting ready to birth out some books. I literally see you being an author. Like never before, you're getting ready to chronicle the things of God. And you will be one that will be open to the brilliance of the Father. For the Father releases her brilliant upon you and he brings you to his heart and he brings you into the thoughts in his mind and you're getting ready to write things and generations to come will know and they will see and long after you're gone people will be healed by what you wrote long after you're gone people will be delivered by what you wrote and woman of God I decree and declare over your life that you're stepping into a wealthy anointing a wealthy anointing that you're going to break out of Poverish mentality, poverty mentality. And the Lord is getting ready to bless your hands in this hour. Get ready to give like never before. Get ready to give like never before. Because I see you being in a place where you want to give and you're saying, I'm going to give, but you want to be able to give more. The Father unlocks. The Father unlocks. The Father unlocks. Unlocks, unlocks. Come into the wealth of God, coming into the brilliance of God, coming to the mysteries of God it is so in the name of Jesus somebody lift your hands I'm almost done I want to be obedient with the time young man right here in the blue shirt yes you yes who did my Sunday yakataya how with the old in with the new hey. how with the old you are the new you yes lord yes god the father says this that these will be days of strong transformation yes god strong transformation <laughs> oh if you've seen the future that i see for you man of god with a word in your belly i don't know where you're from where you go do you go to this church you do oh man amen amen there's something that's been stirring up on the inside of you for some time now you've really been trying to break into a greater understanding of what it is that God wants to move you into purpose and God is literally as you obey the word of the Lord and submit to the Father in this time through word through fasting through praying and God will give you the right routine and the what you can keep up with God is literally increasing you in his knowledge and in his word I can literally see right now a vision of of hands stretching your brain and I see just new words new revelation new power filling your mind and the spirit of the Lord comes to literally stretch you in this season and fill you with him Stretch you in this hour and fill you with him. Are you in ministry here? No. Well, there is a ministry call on your life, man of God. There is a ministry call on your life. And the Father is going to bring identity to what that looks like now and what that looks like in the future. But you are in a season of transformation. And God literally wants to break some things off of you of old. And there are some strongholds even now in the name of Jesus that's being broken right now even in your mind. It is the will of the enemy that you will operate in error, that you will function in error, and that you will think in error. But right now, the power of the Spirit, hallelujah, the power of the Most High God breaks the strongholds in your mind. 
And I prophesy that these will be days of strong signs and strong visitation, strong angelic visitation. Yes, Lord. And the Father says, be not afraid because I'm literally speaking to you. I'm literally opening up and speaking to you. And the Father says, open up to me, open up to me, open up to me and give me a yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And this cannot delay any longer. The Father says, this is now for you. So I even speak right now to your heart. I speak to your mind and your spirit. And I decree and declare that you will agree with what God wants for you in this now time as he leads you to the new. And I prophesy over your life uh, that you will see the manifestation of God's promises, uh, the manifestation of God's word over your life. Uh, and I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that God is breaking you out of the jail uh, of fear, that he's breaking you out of the jail of your past, uh, that he's breaking you out of the jail. Yes, Lord. Uh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Uh, for in this season, uh, you will not fear moving forward. Uh, you will not fear going up. Uh, you will not fear. Uh, but you will obey the voice of God in your life and you will begin to see God's promises manifested in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that there will be a stirring on the inside of you. And when you hear and feel the unction of the Holy Ghost telling you to get up and get in the word that you will do it. Telling you to get up and pray, you will do it. Telling you to get up and begin to just spend some time with the Father that you will do it. And you will not ignore the call any longer. But God is saying now I bring you uh, into new identity. Uh, now I bring you uh, into new transformation. Now I bring you, man of God, uh, into your new, says the Spirit of the Most High God, and it is so. Uh, in the name of Jesus, somebody lift your hands. Uh, somebody lift your hands uh, and give him glory. Uh, give him glory. Give him glory. Come on, somebody lift up your voice uh, and give him glory. Come on, come on, shout out to the Lord. Shout out to the Lord. If you agree with the prophetic word over your life, the word is new. Shout unto the Lord. New miracles, new healings. I decree and declare that there will be new testimonies. New testimonies of victory. New testimonies of strength. New testimonies of power. Open your mouth and shout. It is so. It is so. It is so. It is so. Sotabasa. Yakadalabasukiata. It is so. The word of the Lord over your life is yes, so in the name of Jesus. It is so over your life. The word of the Lord, it is so over your life. The fire of intercession, the mantle of intercession over your life. Beyond the singing, beyond the singing, there is ministry stirring up on the inside of you. Open your mouth. You're going to prophesy. You're going to speak the word of the Lord. You will see God move like never. Break in, break in. Break into the new. Prophesy. Pray. Now I need everybody else to give him glory. Come on, let's take one minute without the music and shout. Shout! The enemy tried to silence some of your voices, but shout unto the Lord! The gates and the prisons are breaking off of your mouth. Every time a memory of your yesterday comes to play your tomorrow, open your mouth and shout! The devil can't
can't have your head. The devil can't have your thoughts. The devil can't have your mind. The devil can't have your neck. The devil can't have your chest. The devil can't have your womb. The devil can't have your hands. The devil can't have your arms. The devil can't have your legs. The devil can't have your ankles. The devil can't have your feet. The devil can't have your spirit. The devil can't have your heart. The devil can't have your mind. Yep, go there. I know we already shot it before. But I want you to get another dance in your feet. And I hear the Lord saying, this is your victory agreement dance with new. This is your victory agreement dance with my new for your life, says the Spirit of God. I know we're still in an active pandemic. And some of us are not touching, so if you're not comfortable touching your neighbor, you don't have to. But I want you to look at somebody next to you. And I want you to tell them that this dance is for you. Because I'm not just praising God for my victory. We all gonna win. We all gonna get to this journey, through this journey to the new. Now listen, don't let your neighbor down. I need you to give that neighbor a dance, for real. And I need some of y'all to step out of your seat because God wants you to be unrestricted in this hour. I see you, I see you dancing. I see you leaping in the light blue shirt. Yep, you're leaping in this season of victory. Go ahead and dance! Go praise them for your neighbor because we all win. Praise! I see you, Kalisha. I see you, co pastor. There's a pastor mantle on your life. You are coming into the new thing. I see you leaping in the back. Leap into your new. Leap into your next. Oh! Give him a praise for your new, your next is now. Everybody pray. Praise, come on. Old cards are broken. Yesterday's memories are destroyed decree and declare that you will flourish in your relationships. You will flourish in your marriages. You will flourish in your business. Liberty, you're getting ready to flourish. God says now.
With that white shirt on, you just danced your way out of a valley. You just danced your way out of a valley. Do you hear me? You just danced your way out of a valley. I prophesy increase, uh, supernatural supply, supernatural blessings. Uh, the favor of the Lord be around you. The favor of the Lord, uh, you will wear it like a garment. Uh, everywhere you go, uh, you will see favor. Uh, wherever your feet will tread, uh, you will see favor out of the valley uh, and into God's new, says the Spirit uh, of the Most High God. Woo, we gotta go. One more praise. Go ahead. Come on, praise, praise, praise. Hey! Your new is now. Your new is now. Your new is now. Lift your hands. Your new is now. Yes, it will tarry. No more delay. No more delay. No more. No more delay. No more. No more delay. No more delay. Somebody praise him, cause delay is broken. We gotta go. Yisha te daba sonde ye ke daba saya. Ye te daba daba say. No more delay. I see some praisers that's been waiting for your breakthrough. You've been waiting for your miracle. God says no more, no more, no more delay. I want you to get a seat in your hand. Yes, Lord. Come on, we are excited to tithe. And we are excited to give. There are two envelopes. that I need you to get in your hand. The white one is a tithing envelope. The yellow one is a pledge envelope. I want you to tithe. Come on, that 10%, I want you to give it. But I want you to step out on faith on this morning as well. And I want you to sow a seed into the word of God. Come on, I want you to Seal the promise over your life. Come on, it's already sealed. You've agreed with God. You said yes. You danced in victory. Now I want you to sow into that seed. I want to stretch you. If you can, I want you to sow a $50 seed on today. A $50 seed. Come on, I want you to pledge it. July 17th is a day that you are now walking into endless measures of new for your life. Endless measures of new for your life. It's July 18th, I'm sorry. July 18th. July 18th, I see my cousin here. I love you, Bree. Thank you for coming and supporting. I want you to sew, I want you to sew. Come on, let's stand to our feet. And as you're sowing, I want you to keep praising. No more delay, no more delay. You will not be denied anymore. Some of you all are waiting for something to go through. 
an approval letter, an approval call is getting ready to happen for you. I don't know who you are. You've been waiting on something. I prophesy that the approval letter be released now in the name of Jesus. The call, the call, the call, the call. You will receive the approval call in the name of Jesus. So where are my business owners? Who's been looking for some land? Anybody been looking for some? Yeah, by faith you will have what you are seeking out in the name of Jesus. I prophesy it even as you're sowing into the word of the Lord. Answers, 30 days, in 30 days, within 30 days, I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Approval calls, contract signed. In the name of Jesus. Come on, let's sow, let's sow, let's sow. So if you're standing, can we all stand? I'm old school. And so even if you don't have anything to give, I want you to come and touch the basket. Because if you do it in faith, hear me, God is going to put something in your hands to be able to give. Come on, and if you're able to give, come on, God will have you to have something for yourself. Whoosh, you're talking about wealth, 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 wealth. A wealth anointing be upon you even as you are running and giving. I need people to praise while you're giving. Come on, you're sowing into this ground. Come on, you're tithing. Yes, Lord. No more delay. No more delay. You're about Shia. Doors that were once shut are opening up. No more delay. It is so in the name of the name. In the name of Jesus, no more. No more delay. No more delay. No more delay. I dare you to go to that property and begin to prophesy that it is yours. No I dare you to go to that neighborhood that you want to live in uh, and prophesy that you'll live there. No Somebody needs to prophesy to your bank account and say, I decree and declare. No that my checking account and my savings account will overflow in the name. By August, by August, by August, by August, by August, no more. No more delay. No more delay. I see you praising over there. Victory is yours. Brianna, no more delay. Hey! Everybody praise. By August. By August. Hey! By August. In Quetamash. Hey! By August. Somebody open up your mouth and say, Thou August, say it, yep, prophesy by August, hey, everybody praise, it is so, it is so, it is so, did everybody give? I want to make sure everybody gave. Now, if you didn't have anything to give and you're not afraid to say, lift your hands. If you didn't have anything to give and you wanted to give, lift your hands. Come up. If you didn't have nothing to give and you wanted to give, you turned out the best time. Yes, Lord, and you wanted to give. Who she under by so kiddie osaya. Pastor Rodnisha, can you stand behind them? Is there anybody else that wanted to give but didn't have to give? I don't want you to miss out on the supernatural increase that's getting ready to hit your life. You can keep that up, and I'm walking to my seat. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, yep. 
Yes, I saw that happening. Wait, wait, wait one second. Hold on one second. Because I literally just saw that happening. You didn't have anything to give and you wanted to give. And you came up. And now somebody has given you something to give. Come on, there's some other people in the room that's getting ready to give you. That's getting ready to give you something to give. Hold on, hold it in your hand. Hold it in your hand. Oh, you see how quickly that happened? You see how fast that happened? Now, just as the Lord just literally gave unto your hands to give, this week I prophesy over your life supernatural increase from the north, from the south, from the east, and from the west. I declare that money will come to your hands, that increase will come to your hands. The Father is getting ready to supernaturally supply you with everything that you need. He said, I am the Lord your God, and I will give unto your hands. I will give unto your bosom. I will give unto your hands. Now I want you to sow what's in your hand, and I want you to give God praise for what's getting ready to come to you. Sow it and give God glory for the overflow that's in your life. The overflow, somebody prophesy. Overflow. That's right, praise him, praise him. It's going to happen just like that. I want you to expect it. Go ahead and give a praise for the overflow. Liberty, I love you. Apostle Shireen Lathan, God bless you. I honor you. Thank you so much to all of the ministers, elders on the roster. God bless you. Thank you for the opportunity. Did you receive the word of the Lord? If you receive the word of the Lord, let me see your hands. Now show! Yes, Lord. Thank you.